Welcome back. We're in the kitchen cooking with our friends from Table Magazine. Today's feature dish comes from the Table Cookbook created by Casbah Executive Chef Dustin Gardner using fresh beets. That's this recipe. Dustin will show us how to make it in a moment. But first, we're talking with Table Magazine publisher Christina French. This recipe is from your cookbook, and I know you can only get it one way. Yes. Actually, subscribing to Table gets you this special edition recipe book, which is just something we decided with all of our chef friends and everybody we love so much in the food industry in Pittsburgh. We just said, at, at some point, we have to do a table recipe book just because we've learned so much over the years about what people love to eat, where they source from locally, and we just want to put it all together in one great resource. Mm -hmm. So the recipe book is basically that resource. You can keep it all year long. It's all, you know, recipes that can be done by any season, and it's all that was a collaboration with some of our, again, chef friends and, and industry experts. That's great. And I, yeah. we featured one of them uh, one of the last times you were here with the commoner. Just a terrific recipe, and I know it's much of the same. How did you narrow down the list and pick what you wanted to, to provide to the magazine? Well, we wanted to do something that we do in the restaurant that's mm -hmm. also easy to do in the home. And right. this is what we came up with, and that's what we're going to do. So what is it exactly? All right, so it's the beet salad. We got whipped ricotta right here, mm -hmm. and that's just going to go on the bottom of the plate. And so what else is in that ricotta? Because it looks like uh, there might be some It's some seasoning. olive oil and salt and pepper, and that's basically about it. I and love then, ricotta. Uh, we, do, we use three different types of beets, chiogas. Oh. Golds and some reds. I don't want to touch reds because they're the bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh. get those out. <laughs> now, we've been kind of like promoting this as a springtime salad, but beets are available all year, all year round. round yeah, right? so they're typically on everyone's list, and you know, one of the things that grows in Pennsylvania all year round. And so what did you, you just put obviously some sort of dressing on it. Yeah, it's just uh, a lentil vinaigrette kind of mixed with some red wine vinaigrette, French green lentils buzzed up in it, and some little Dijon. And then we add some more lentils in it because they're good for you. And then that just kind of gets all tossed together on here. And what do you, lentils, do you have to cook them? I mean, I've never made anything with lentils. Yeah, before, you so could typically get some type of a vegetarian stock or even chicken broth depending on your, what you want to do. And those are just, you know, simmer till they're nice and ready. And then just kind of arrange everything however you want it. You can do it for like a big group or single servings. Looks beautiful. And then just garnish with some fresh, uh, fresh, some Marcona almonds on here. And that's the beet salad. That looks lovely. Pressure. I can't wait to try this. And what are the variations of beets? Because I'm familiar with like the deep red color, but these other two, uh, sweeter? So these are, they yeah, these taste? are a little bit sweeter. These are Chiogas. They're mm -hmm. also known as candy stripe beets. They're probably one of my favorites. They're the sweeter of them. And the golds are kind of semi-sweet, and then the reds are obviously a deep, earthy, heavier tasting beet. Okay, I want to try this. All right. Absolutely. Okay. It's such a, a great salad. It, you know, when you get it at Casbah, it's always such a perfect balance because it's, beets are obviously quite sweet. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't play up any more sweetness. It's really balanced lovely with like a lot of savory and the nuts and everything. Mm. It's just, it works beautifully. That is it's delicious. one of our favorites. And so the Casbah is part of the big burrito group. Correct. Mm -hmm. And this is something that's on the menu right yep. now? Yeah, it's actually on all of, all so of the uh, Casbah menus, lunch, dinner, brunch. So It's a favorite. That's it's great. so good. And where is it located, just so folks know? In, uh, in Shadyside, uh, South Highland. Okay. And we also want to mention, because the spring issue is out yes. of Table Magazine, what else is featured this month? Well, our, our spring issue is always our design issue. So it's a lot of different inspirational kind of stories around design, whether it be even something like simple place settings or design that's coming up with new restaurants and venues around town, or just things to kind of get you thinking about how to refresh some of your living spaces and entertaining ideas and you name it. So it's, it's a great way to kind of get get kind of amped up for the new season. Okay. So. Recipe book has to be a big hit. Everything it's you guys huge. have brought have been delicious. Well, thank you. We, we had fun doing it, especially with our guys that are yeah, like yeah. guys and girls that are obviously the best contributors for that for that production. All so. right. Well, thank you both for coming yeah, on thanks today. For thanks us. for cooking for us today. And you can look for today's recipe in the Table Magazine recipe book available with your Table Magazine subscriptions and look for the new issue of Table for Spring online and on newsstands now.